Hey guys, Austin here. Uh, this video we're going to be looking at 5-Minute Fantasy's Week 8 Booming and Busting Tight Ends. My start uh, of the week is either going to be Jared Cook, if he plays uh, for New Orleans, or Josh Hill. Uh, last week, Jared Cook did not play against Chicago, and Josh Hill ended up having a pretty... Ended up having a pretty good fantasy game. I think he got like 16 points off of like like maybe 80 yards and a touchdown, something pretty near that. Um, but again, going up against Arizona, you know how much I hate Arizona's tight end defense. They they can't touch anything um, that those big-bodied guys across the middle do. So if Jared Cook plays, look to start him. Uh, if not, Josh Hill on a waiver wire. Hunter Henry for Chicago. Uh, Hunter Henry against Chicago. Um, Hunter Henry is looking to be uh, pretty much a replica of what Antonio Gates has been to Philip Rivers for his entire career. Hunter Henry is a big-bodied, smart route runner that knows what he's doing. He had injury problems early in his career, um, but he's really uh, he's really picking that up now. I'm going to say start Darren Waller against Houston. I know that everyone's pretty much like all in on Darren Waller anyway, just like the Raiders are. Um, but most of the time people have two tight ends, and I think that Darren Waller's in for a top two game this week. And then also start Darren Fells. Uh, for the Houston Texans against Oakland, um, Oakland has been giving up a lot of points to tight ends, um, and I think that Darren Fells' newfound production with the Texans um, he's kind of having a career resurgence. Look for him to have quite a few targets again this week in a game that could turn into a potential shootout with John Gruden and uh, Deshaun Watson going head-to-head. Going to say sit TJ Hawkinson. I, I don't think that, uh, you know, TJ Hawkinson right now, he's probably the best rookie tight end um, to enter the NFL in a long time. Uh, but I don't think that, you know, his production is going to be very consistent. The Giants have a pretty decent uh, ability to cover tight ends. Uh, that, even though I think it's going to be a potentially high-scoring game, I don't think I don't think that TJ is going to be getting a lot of those targets. I'm going to say sit Gerald Everett from the Rams up, going up against Cincinnati. I think that this could potentially be an easy win for the Rams. Um, you know, I think that the game could be over at halftime or middle of the third quarter, so I don't think that he's going to be getting a lot of those, like, you know, late game, um, you know, like down the field, stop the clock kind of targets. I'm going to say sit Zach Ertz. Buffalo is fantastic at stopping tight ends. Um, that and right now the Philadelphia Eagles locker room is in somewhat of a disarray. Sit Zach Ertz and then also sit Austin Hooper. Even though Austin Hooper's been the number one Tight end in fantasy this year. Uh, he's on Atlanta. Atlanta just lost Mohamed Sanu to, to a trade. They don't have Matt Ryan. So now all of a sudden the top end guys like Julio Jones and Austin Hooper are going to get even more coverage put on them.